Hi guys, Melissa Johnson, Independent Scentsy Consultant, back with you again today. And I have some bricks that I want to chop up. Um, and I had someone recommend, um, oof, we're going to start with Fluffy Fleece, my least favorite, <laughs> um, to uh, flip it upside down and cut it that way. I was like, okay, and then you can just put the don't like it. <laughs> mm. I definitely will not be cutting up the other brick because <laughs> I don't want it. And I have a sharp knife. <laughs> so be afraid, be very afraid. Um, so I just thought, you know, I'd spend some time with you guys today. Um, while I chop up these bricks and talk about some things. Um, so one of the things um, I was trying to think of that we could talk about <laughs> um, is some scents that I wish that um, Scentsy had. And I know a lot of people have mentioned this. I was hoping the sharper knife would be less um, shavings, <laughs> but I don't know. The butter knife might be better. Anyways, ugh, the smell. Um, some of the scents that I wish that Scentsy had would definitely be like a variety of coffee scents because Mocha Doodle doesn't smell like coffee at all to me. Like not even a little bit. <laughs> um, I think it smells, sorry about my bird. I think it smells a lot more like Central Park Pralines. Um, I, I get like like a cinnamon vanilla sugar nut. Yeah, I don't think I like this knife. Um, so that one's not a good coffee scent to me. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, I definitely don't like this knife. Um, also, I, I don't think Coffee Tree is enough coffee for me. It's as close as I'm going to get, so I have it in my Scentsy Club. Um, but it's really not as coffee as I wish it was. So, I personally... Oops, I did this backwards. So, oh, that does work better, you guys. <laughs> Look how smart you guys are. <laughs> you guys are so smart. I like that much better. Um, I mean, coffee tree is nice. Don't get me wrong. It's not that it's not nice. Um, it's very nice. I just wish it was a lot more espresso, I guess, than it is like coffee with sweetener. Now, I know I voted on like hazelnut latte, hoping that was something more. I kind of wish Sensi would do something that's more like straight coffee. Like you have coffee beans that you're churning. <laughs> um, I don't know, I just feel like other people do it better. Like other waxes that I've smelled out there. So I personally kind of wish that they would work on that. Um, I know a lot of people feel that way. Fluffy fleece, yikes. Yeah, um, <laughs> my feelings on that one. Um, and I have partial bricks I kind of want to cut up. I don't know if I'll get to whole bricks, but um, I know like there's more like bakery type food ones. This one happens to be pink poinsettia. That was fluffy fleece. This one's pink poinsettia. Um, I mean, there's a lot. I'm always drawn to the bakery ones because um, I know a lot of people don't love bakery. I'm going to try it with this knife. <laughs> See if I have better luck. My good old butter knife. Yeah. I feel like I, well, it's just that little bit, so I don't know. Um... So as far as, I mean, I know I voted for um, French toast, um, 
for uh, banana nut bread. So luckily that one's coming back because I'm like, I've never spilled it. <laughs> Um, I didn't know how long it had been since it came back. Um, so sorry. <laughs> um, but just things like that, like the foodie ones, like I'm always attracted to those. So, um, yeah, I don't know why this, this butter knife seems to do better. Uh, I don't know. Like, I, I wish we had like just a variety, like lemon meringue pie or like coconut cream pie or um I just I know a lot of people really like things that they that they're familiar with so they'll I know a lot of, of people on here are not bakery people which is so weird um I'm like how do you not like things that smell like food but um I don't know it's just funny to me oops uh oh I think I can only do two at a time that way. Um, so I'm just trying to think like, I know since he had quite a few of them that have come and gone like um, gingerbread donut and all that kind of stuff. So um, I just feel like a lot of people really love the bakery. I mean, customer wise, like I always find that a lot of my, per personally, a lot of my customers by a lot of the food ones, because they know what that smells like. Unlike sea salt and avocado, they're like, I'm not buying that because I don't know what that smells like. I find, maybe I'm wrong. Um, that just seems to be what my customers seem to go towards too. Uh, so, I don't know. Um, I feel like, I don't know. I just feel like we could do more like that. I love that they're doing a lot of the like perfume. I know a lot of people don't love that, but I wish they would come out with like a whole cologne collection. I think that would be a lot of fun. Like men's cologne, like they did the Glamorous You. Now if they do like a guy version of like men's cologne. I think that would be spectacular. Um, I find a lot of people really like the, the men's cologne type ones. Um, I feel like that would, that would go over really well, better than the ladies perfume, but I love that they did that. <laughs> so I'm personally, well, I didn't do so good with that one, you guys, but I'm personally keeping those in my club. Cause I know they weren't, I know some of you guys have commented that you enjoyed it too. So I'm glad I'm not alone, but I feel like most consultants did not like that collection. So just a handful, like some of them. So I don't know, I'm gonna keep those in my club just cause I know people, but um, I don't know. I wish that they would do more of that kind of thing. Um, I don't know, since he's been around for 17 years. So I know there's a lot of things that I've missed and I'm not familiar with. Um, them having done so I could just put these on my carpet <laughs> I do have to vacuum I don't know don't really love that either uh I'm gonna run out of paper towels too we'll see <laughs> so I don't know now I got a partial brick of um vanilla cinnamon maple so, I don't know, a men's cologne collection would be fun. Like, like they have, like some of the vendors do, like, um, you know, Fresh Shave or, um, it smells really good. Uh, I don't know. I think it would be popular. Um, and I, I just feel like a lot of people would like that. I don't know, it's hard to think of things that people would like to come up with ideas of things that they should do. I just know coffee is really popular. I feel like they, they missed the mark there. Um, I feel like food scents are always popular, so you can never go wrong with that. Um, and um, like a cologne. 
but it would, I think it would be fun too. Speaking of like Halloween kind of thing, like, um, Walmart has the Dios de los Muertos, <laughs> the day of the dead, I'm trying to be okay on my Spanish there. Um, I, you know, I think like we should do fun things like that, like day of the dead. Um, just fun sort of collections like that. Um, I did put in an idea, an idea in the idea portal for that when I said a sugar skull, um, maybe animal, like a cat or a dog. So then when they came out with the, the sugar skull cat, well, he's not tech, well, I mean, he's kind of sugar skull. Um, I was like, I gotta have that. <laughs> so the very superstitious warmer. Um, cause I feel like that was kind of a take on my idea. Although they didn't come out with the wax. I was so looking forward to, you know, Day of the Dead wax collection. Um, yeah, like, I don't know. I was trying to think, like, a lot of people don't like milkshake kind of type ones. They didn't love strawberry swirl. So I'm like, I thought a milkshake collection would be fun. But then I'm like, you know, you could do like shamrock shake kind of thing. Maybe not like call it that, but um, shake your shamrocks or something, you know, a take on it. Uh, but a lot of people don't love that milk note. So I'm like, well, that wouldn't go over very well. Uh, I don't know. I think a St. Patrick's Day kind of collection would be fun. Um, you could do like Irish, um, <laughs> you could do Guinness. I don't know how well that would smell, <laughs> but you could do like Irish cream. Uh, something like that. I mean, obviously you could get like a clover scent. Um, it'd smell kind of like grass. And I know a lot of people are kind of <laughs> not not always keen on the grass scent. So I don't know, maybe that's a dumb idea too. <laughs> Guess that's why I don't make the big bucks <laughs> designing stuff, but I don't know. It's just fun to think of um, different things. So um, some of my hobbies, believe it or not, I love, um, acrylic painting. I'm not very good at the uh, oil painting, but, and I, I can do it. Like I watched Bob Ross. <laughs> so I've done oil painting along with Bob Ross. Um, I mean, I can do it. It's just, I'm not as good at oil as I am acrylic. Um, so I actually really enjoy that. And, uh, my friend Ursula, she used to like to paint rocks too. And around our town, I'm sure it's big everywhere, but around our town, um, <clears throat> you can like go around and paint rocks and hide them places and then kids look for them. And then we have a Facebook site around town that you can post your, if, when you find your rocks and, um, like I've done some pretty like intricate scenes on rocks. Um, like I did a forest scenery and stuff and people kind of like oohed and nod over that. I got like big pieces of slate. So it's kind of like more like rock hunting for the adults. Um, so that was fun to see how people enjoyed those. Um, I think I might use the same one for the orange pomander. <laughs> Sweet orange pomander. Since they're the same color. I love the way it smells. But, um... So I do love acrylic painting. Um, I do love painting rocks for the kids to, to see and get excited about, and even the adults. Um, and it's not, actually not as hard to paint on rocks if, if you're ever interested in doing that. Um, you, I would just go to Pinterest, <clears throat> and because I'm more of a copy artist, I don't really do very well from my head, but <clears throat> if I see a picture of something, then I can go ahead and I can paint that um, fairly well. <laughs> uh, so I just go to Pinterest and look at painted rocks, <laughs> you know, and then copy those. Um, my daughter's actually pretty decent at it too. 
and um, so that's a lot of fun. I have taken some painting classes, like my friend that we're running, trying to buy the house from. Um, she's an artist, so I've done some work with her and then some classes and helped her with classes. And then um, my friend Caroline, she's um, also an art teacher as well. And so she's done some classes and I've helped her. Um, so, I mean, I've had some lessons. I know I've actually driven 45 minutes to Jamestown, New York, because I live near there. And I used to go to Michael's. <laughs> and I took a couple classes up there because they were teaching. One of my favorite paintings is by um, uh, Van Gogh, I believe it is. <laughs> I'm drawing a blank. I'm pretty sure it's Van Gogh. Pretty sure. Um, Starry, Starry Night. <laughs> I was positive. That's me and go. Um, doubting myself now. And so I had to do a painting of that. That was a lot of fun. It was just me in that class. Um, so it was neat, me and the teacher. Um, so it, it is fun to see like how different teachers teach you as well, like the different techniques that, that they're skilled in. So each teacher will teach you something different. So I love gathering like the different techniques from each one. Um, and then kind of making it your own. I should have picked up the towel and I did not. <laughs> and I think that goes there. Guys, <laughs> I think there, sort of, that's not right, but it's okay. It's fine. <laughs> it works. Um, I do find that I'm actually able to go through my bricks quicker when they're pre-cut. So that's a fantastic idea because sometimes I'll, I would have maybe used a brick, but because it wasn't pre-cut, I was like, nah, I don't feel like getting my knife out. And so I don't use them. And since I've been doing this, I'm actually using them more. So I do really like this a lot. Um, my favorite, there's only three cubes, <laughs> and that would be spiced eggnog. <laughs> it's my favorite. I have a whole nother brick, and I want to buy another one. So, oh, it's so good. They had me at the, the like, buttered rum lifesaver. <laughs> it's so good. Um, and some of my other hobbies, um, now my friend Ursula, before she passed away, um, she, we had talked about like, um, her teaching me how to do origami and then like us going around and putting them up places and we never got around to being able to do that. I don't know why I try to cut three at once. I know it doesn't work for me. Um, so we didn't get a chance to do that. So when she passed away and her family gave me all of her origami paper, um, I was like, okay, so I'm going to carry this on for her and I'm going to teach myself. So I sat on YouTube for a couple hours and it's hard because it's not in person. It's like in a video. So I would stop the video, do the fold, go back. So it took me a couple hours, but I, I got it down and I don't do it exactly the way that she did it, but, um, it's almost identical. I think I did this. I did. <laughs> I turned it. So, um, I've been making those with her paper and then just like putting them out places. Like I put a bunch out at work and people at work, you'll sometimes see them at their desk or whatever. A lot of people really like those. Um, I put them out at our public library in the children's section. Um, I put them out in the parking garage and people take them. Um, I have black pants on. <laughs> I have that wax on my pants. Um, so that's been fun. I think while well, I'm here with this one, I'm gonna just finish cutting up that other brick. Please take <laughs> um, So 
that's fun when you put them out like at the parking garage and stuff and people take them. Um, I'm trying to think of other places I put them, but yeah, so um, I'm working on making a bunch of those. Sorry about my bird, she's obnoxious, but she just wants attention. Um, and it's only because I'm doing a video and I'm talking, so she's talking back and trying to get my attention. Um, I try to ignore her when she does that, so it doesn't encourage her to be a jerk. Because it's that really sharp noise, and she only does it when I'm on a video. Or when my son is around and she's trying to get his attention, but he doesn't want her to give her attention. Um, anyway, so another one of my hobbies, thanks to my friend Ursula, um, she, before she'd passed away, um, she gave me a diamond painting kit and, um, you know, she was like, oh, I got this for you. And I was like, oh, cool. You know, she, well, what happened was, um, she's like, oh, I got you a present and we need to get together and do a craft together. And I was like, okay. And the timing wasn't working out. And she's like, well, we need to hurry. And I couldn't figure out why she said we needed to hurry. Um, I didn't pick up on my world. I never imagined a day that Ursula wouldn't be in my life. So it just didn't occur to me. I can't talk about this too much, you guys. Um, but I'll try to get this part of it out before um, I stop talking about it. But anyways, because um, yesterday was her angel anniversary, so I struggle. Um, so she's like, yeah, but we need to hurry. And I was like, okay, well, you know, I have off this day, this day, this day. You know, I'll be home from work this time. And she's like, well, I got stuff going on too. She's like, I'm just going to drop it off in your door. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and it was a diamond painting kit. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Um, so she got me that. I think it's a mermaid, if I remember right. Well, then she passed away and she had started, just started one. I have it almost completed. Um, the irony of that one is the actual diamond painting that she has is a picture I saved off Pinterest. Um, my daughter calls it Pinterest. Pinterest and it's Pinterest. Sorry. <laughs> I'm copying what how she says it. But, um, and it, it was um, something about I had saved it for Ursula because it, it reminded me of her, something about um, the stars conspiring together to, to meet with you or whatever, to get with you. And here it's a picture I had saved off Pinterest and it's the diamond painting that she was working on, which is like completely amazing to me. Um, so that was ironic. And then, um, yeah, so I've been trying to finish that for her and I'm gonna hang it up with, um, I bought her a star. I had a star named after her in Ursa Major since her name's Ursula and she loved bears. And it happens to be the Big Dipper, which is er, like a big polar bear too, Ursa Major. Um, I think that just fits, so. I, um, I'll put it up on the wall with her star. And then, um, I'm just cutting these into fours, you guys. Although a lot of times I don't, I'll use like a whole half a cube or a whole half a brick cube. Um, cause you can put like four regular and sometimes I'll use a whole brick cube in my warmers. It just depends. Cause a lot of the warmers say, um, four cubes and that's since he's recommended. Oh, I should tell you about this. <laughs> that's since he's recommended amount. Um, of cubes for the maximum strength scent of scent throw. So, um, in my polar panorama upstairs in my bedroom, that one takes five cubes. So I put a whole brick cube in it and the diamond milk glass is huge. It says four, I think, but I put a whole brick cube in it and I did that with jammy time. Wow, did that smell amazing. Both of those warmers with four cubes, which ends up, which they're two brick cubes. Um, so it ends up being like a whole 
bar of wax. Amazing. I love it. It works so well. Filled up my whole bedroom. Um, actually the whole upstairs and you could kind of smell it a little bit downstairs. It was fantastic, <laughs> but I love jammy time. So, so that was fun. And actually this one would be really soothing and calming to me in my bedroom. That's a foodie scent. It would probably upset most people, but I love it. And I would absolutely, um, have a grand time with that. <laughs> so, um, highly recommend trying four cubes um in your warmer just to see if you have better performance because i had great success with that versus one cube um in my bedroom there's certain scents like clothesline that you would not want to do that with <laughs> i would not recommend doing that but the normal scents um i yeah i highly recommend doing that if you like a lot of scent um i highly recommend it so, um, back to my story. So the diamond painting kit. Um, so I have hers almost completed, um, and then I'll hang it up in the wall with her start and I have named after her. And then, um, so that's some, that's one of my hobbies that I really enjoy doing now. Thanks to Ursula. And my daughter actually went out and got diamond painting kits because um, she has a lot of fun with it. So if you've never tried diamond painting kits, there's a bunch on Amazon. Um, I highly recommend it. I think you can buy them from Michael's too. Um, and um, another thing that I love that I was into um, before Ursula passed away was um, adult coloring books. <laughs> with um, gel pens. Now my favorite are the glitter, metallic um, gel pens, but I have so much fun doing that. My daughter does too. Um, so we really love doing that. And um, I have lots of coloring books and lots of gel pens. Um, I actually have a special carrier for all of my gel pens. And um, so that's fun. And then another hobby, of mine is um, doing it that way. You get a lot of the crumbs on top. Not sure I love that, but good pray. Yeah, maybe do that. Yeah. One of these days, I'm going to be really good at it. <laughs> but but see, it's all cut up cut up into four. So that would be a lot easier to pop out and use whatever I want. So I love that. And I normally store these upstairs because they're big and they take up a lot of room. They're not down here, except I have wax. <laughs> and when I wipe my hands in my pants, it wipes the wax. Um, so adult coloring books are amazing. <laughs> if you've never tried them, don't be shy and don't use colored well, okay, so I have better success is what I should say, how I should put it. <laughs> Don't mean to be bossy, but I have really great success with um, gel pens versus, um, and Ursula even had some that her family gave me. <laughs> um, but I have better success with uh, gel pens versus crayons or um, coloring colored pencils. Although I do enjoy that, gel pens are amazing. <laughs> I don't like markers because they bleed through, but gel pens don't. So highly, highly, highly recommend gel pens. I have a mess and it's driving me crazy. I'm just going to try not to think about it. <laughs> um, see, I don't know if I want to cut those three up yet. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to work on cutting up my... Oh, I did cut up my baked apple pie. I did this one in halves. Yeah, because I like that one at that strength. But I also have um, clean breeze to cut up the rest of my coconut lemongrass. I haven't cut that one up yet. And the rest of my um, vanilla bean buttercream. And the rest of my jammy thyme rest of my Luna and I have a blueberry 
cheesecake. So I've done the baked apple pie. So we can put that one over there. Um, we'll work on vanilla bean buttercream. So, and another one of my hobbies that I just started with my, um, oh, well, I should tell you the first one that'll lead into this. <laughs> so my one hobby that I started last year, uh, the beginning of last year, so it's been like a year and a half, but I love vanilla bean buttercream, by the way. Yum, amazing. But one of the hobbies that um, I started the beginning of last year, so it's been like, it would be two years at the beginning of um, like March of next year, is um, cello lessons um, at the music conservatory here in town. And I love it. I wasn't sure I'd be able to do cello. <laughs> um, because when I was younger, I tried, I don't know how many times, <laughs> to do um, piano and I'm okay until you make the right hand do something different than the left hand. And I can't play one thing with this hand without this hand wanting to do the same thing. They want to play the same thing. I can't do this and then do something completely different. You see how my hands want to do the same thing? It never worked out. <laughs> Every time they, and I thought, well, when I'm older, and I, I tried like three or four times. <laughs> And I just couldn't do it. And my grandma on my birth father's side was a piano teacher. And she played piano really, really well. Um, extremely well, I should say. <laughs> and uh, I even had her try. And she was the one that got the closest to teaching me. But I just stuttered there. The closest to teaching me. But, uh, sorry. But yeah, they always lose me at the adding the other hand. <laughs> I just couldn't do it. And uh, so I gave up on that. And I'm like, in high school, or in high school, in um, middle school, was I, I don't even, was it fifth grade? What was maybe, maybe grade school, I guess. Um, here, anyway, middle school is like seventh. But, uh... So, I watched a Lassie movie. Now remember, this was like the 80s. <laughs> so don't be too hard on me. <laughs> I watched a Lassie movie. And, um, boy, I really messed that one up. It broke in half. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so there was a banjo in it and stuff. I, yeah, y'all know where I'm going with this. Embarrassing story, and I can't believe I'm telling the whole world on YouTube. <laughs> but um, it was an amazing movie, and it made me cry, and I was like, oh my gosh. And uh, so I wanted to play the banjo just because that dumb movie. I was a corn dog. <laughs> I really was. And so I tried one lesson of banjo, and I was like, no, this is really hard. <laughs> what was I thinking? I cannot do this. I don't know why I thought that this was going to be a good idea. This was not a good idea. Just no. And I never went back. So me and the banjo are not friends. And I was like, am I even ever going to be able to do cello? So um, we had um, stayed at our friend's house in New Hampshire. And when we were taking Cassie back to college, they're like, oh, come stay with us. Don't pay for a hotel or whatever. So we'd stayed at their house and she um, took cello lessons for fun. And she was like, oh, you should do it. Like you would really enjoy it. And I was like, you know, I really should. <laughs> and then Dale and I were on a Christmas walk and um, we walked by the conservatory and they had cellos. And I was like, wait a minute, do they teach the cello? And Dale asked and sure enough, they taught cello. And I was like, okay. So I went and I took a lesson and um, I could do it. I don't know why I could do it and why it clicked with me, um, but I'm not. The, I'm never gonna be Yo-Yo Ma, <laughs> but I really love the way the cello sounds. So it's just a hobby. I do it just for fun. Um, I don't do it to be amazing. So I haven't done it for a while because when work got stressful, um, it was just, I, I was like, I want this to be fun. I don't want it to be something that stresses me out too. So 
I quit for a little bit. Um, while work was really stressful just because I didn't want to ruin it and not love it. So I would like to go back and because I bought my own cello. I have a travel case. It's amazing. But um, that leads me into my other hobby. So my cello teacher um, also does knitting. <laughs> and she taught herself how to knit. She's an amazing knitter. Amazing. Look, my hand's all red. Um, amazing. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like, And she was like, oh my gosh, I'll teach you. Like, that's no problem. And so she would come over and uh, sit and we would knit. And she's teaching me just for fun. Just because she's amazing like that. So, um, yeah, that's my teacher, Chelsea. So, not only does she teach me um, cello, she teach me, teaches me knitting, which I think is amazing. I'm struggling to get this one in. Am I struggling to get that in? Why am I struggling? Okay, it's got the scent category on it. It's fruit. Oh, I didn't put down far enough, that's why. So, yeah, so knitting has become another hobby of mine. I've always loved photography. Um, so that's something I just do for fun. Um, in high school, I worked on the yearbook staff, but I didn't go very much because I was shy. And I didn't feel like I fit in with anyone or anybody wanted to hang out with me. Um, except the one guy was really nice. Um, and taught me like dark room. He's really nice. So I liked hanging out with him. But um, yeah, when I had to do the other stuff, I'm like, no, <laughs> not coming today. And so then they kind of like just ousted me and stopped telling me when things were. Yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah, I was kind of in yearbook and then they just stopped telling me when things were. And so I was just, I guess, out of yearbook. So it's a little messy, but I know I'll use it more that way when it's cut up. So, so photography is another hobby of mine just for fun. I am not like some great photographer or, um, yeah, but it's just, I, what I learned from your book about like photo composition and all that stuff I've taken with me throughout life. And for graduation, I asked my parents for a camera, a 35 millimeter camera. That's back when we had film and it wasn't digital. Digital wasn't a thing back then in 92. Um, so I had the SLR camera and film and all that stuff. My first job technically was a cashier, but then they moved me to the photo lab and I worked at Walmart in the photo lab as the department manager. And then I decided I would be zone supervisor. And then I took care of home lines and toys and um, home lines is like the home stuff, um, hardware. Yeah, so electronics and photo. So I did that for a long time. But photo lab's always been like a passion of mine. I do this coconut lemongrass, there's only a couple. I just keep this in case you have like smells and stuff. It's not, I actually sent some of this to with Dale to his work. Um, and it's kind of broken and I kind of wanted to use it, but it's not one I love to, to melt all the time. I thought I was going to, but I don't know, it's just maybe a little too fresh. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of on the cleaner vibe, so. It's just not my most favorite one. So I, but I would like to use it up, but then it's always nice to have it. So I'm like, do I really want to use it up? <laughs> I don't know. But another one of my um, hobbies, it used to be scrapbooking, had a ton of stuff. And then um, my ex <laughs> sold it all out from under me. Gave it away. I don't know what he did with it. So I lost it all. So I haven't really scrapbooked since because I'm like, I'm not reinvesting all that money. Um, you know, those relationships go when things go bad. Yeah. So. Yeah. So although I love scrapbooking, um, I just didn't want to reinvest all that money. So. Yeah. 
So I just cut those in half. Um, maybe in the case I'll cut them in quarter. I don't know. Just <laughs> that on my shirt. So another um, hobby. I guess now you could kind of say Scentsy. Um, I have so much fun playing with wax, organizing my wax in my drawer. So I'm like, this is summer and like, this is floral. <laughs> I kind of arrange it by category. I'm like, this is like, um, I don't do like, I don't go so far as to do like spice and woods. I do more like seasonal. So I'm like the summery. Um, I try to keep all the Halloween together. Um, Boy, this is messy to do it this way. Don't recommend this. <laughs> I feel like because I feel like you should use your bricks while you have them because otherwise they get kind of crumbly. Um, which I don't love that. I know the one day we made fish, and it smelled kind of fishy, so I used this in my warmers, and it does work really good to eliminate odors. So. Um, I do recommend this scent for that kind of thing. Or if you clean your house and you want it just to continue smelling like you cleaned your house, um, coconut lemongrass is a great one for that. So that work is almost done, which makes me super happy. <laughs> and, um, another, I consider it a hobby, um, is to visit zoos and aquariums. My goal is to visit all of them someday before I die. Um, I don't know if I'll ever get to do that, but there are so many, but that's another hobby of mine. I love, I, I wanted to be a marine biologist. I'm going to go with the clean breeze now. And, um, I do love this scent. It is one of the laundry scents that I really love. Like, I would have this going in my house. It's not obnoxious. It's very nice and floral. It's not... Like, this is like a sweet floral. Um, fuzzy fleece is way too powdery. I, that's why I don't like fuzzy fleece. Fluffy fleece. Fuzzy. <laughs> Fluffy fleece. I just, I can't. I cannot do that one. Um, whereas this is really pretty. It's not that obnoxious powdery I don't like fluffy fleece <laughs> but seriously you guys I'm a love it or hate it with the with the laundry fresh and that one I just I hate it I I kind of hate it I I want to not hate it but I do kind of hate it um I'm gonna have to mix that one uh I have to get through those last three three those last is there three Four. There's four. The last four cubes. Which, technically, I could do that all down here. If I mix it. <laughs> um, we'll see. <laughs> but, anyways. Um, so, I wanted to be a marine biologist. Um, now, I went to a Christian school and nobody was we didn't have like a guidance office. No one was there to help you. It was, there was only a hundred kids K through 12, you guys. My graduating class was 12 kids, or it's 12 kids, 10 kids. And I was one of the 10. <laughs> so I did not have a big school, a big class. So there was no guidance counselor. There was no one there to help me. Um, no one there to, to guide me on how to find scholarships or anything. I tried. I failed. I couldn't get anything. You guys, <laughs> this is how pathetic I am. I wrote a letter to SeaWorld <laughs> asking them for scholarship, if they had any scholarship funds and stuff. SeaWorld of all places, they're not going to give me money. <laughs> I know this now that I'm older, but my parents weren't involved with any of that. They didn't care. <laughs> um... They weren't gonna help me pay to go to college. So I got into a college and I had terrible SAT scores of like 740. You're terrible. <laughs> it's because I hate math. Me and math are not friends. 
Um, and I did really bad in math. So I only answered the general math questions. Um, anything beyond general algebra, x plus y equals z, anything beyond that, I'm like, I'm not answering that and I left it blank. So anyways, I had a terrible SAT score. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I still got into a Christian college. <laughs> I, I think they'll accept anybody to be honest with you. It's not that I'm a dummy, it's just, I never applied myself in school. And um, anyways, I got in, I got accepted. I was so proud of myself, but I wasn't spending um, I wasn't going to be $100,000 in debt to be a marine biologist when I'm like, I don't even think they make that much money. So, um, needless to say, I did nothing with that. So the next thing I wanted to do in life was to be a mom. So I got married really young and had children and that's that. <laughs> I was 21 when I had Cassie and so I did the next thing I wanted to do in life, which was be a mom. And it wasn't until I was older that I actually um, went to school for massage therapy. And that's just because I've, oh, I loved biology in school, loved it. I would draw, and here comes my art skills. I would just sit and draw in my biology notebook and copy the, the medical pictures, like of skulls and things, um, bones, whatever the book had in it, I would stick that in my notebook. And I got all kinds of good grades because <laughs> I was drawing in my anatomy notebook and stuff in school. Um, next, I'm gonna cut up my Luna brick. Love Luna. I love Luna. It's such a pretty floral. It's like, it's just like a body spray you would buy I like Bath and Body Works. Luna is amazing. Um, yum. <laughs> anyway, so, which I broke it. Anyways, trying to get it out of the thing. You see that? Which is fine. But, um, so, yeah, I didn't go to school. <laughs> and later in life, um, went to trade school. Um, eight months trade school. And I loved every minute of it. Um, thought I was going to go into business, but no one around here, our, my town is so cheap. They did not want to spend $50 for a massage. And I feel like you paid more than that in big cities, but no, they didn't want to spend that. And so no one wanted to <laughs> pay to have a massage. So I let my stuff go. And now I feel like it would be way too much work to try to, I still have my massage table and my massage chair. Um, all that stuff, I'll keep that forever, but, um, I earned that, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I just, it's not worth it to keep up the, the credentials and stuff anymore. I'm just like, it's just something I know it's fun and that's that. <laughs> um, so my favorite TV shows, I know I touched on this before, but then I got off track. So Supernatural with, um, Sam and Dean, you cannot watch that show without watching the very first episode and um, seeing why they do what they do. <laughs> you just can't. You've got to follow the story long and story line along with it. Um, you got to follow along with the storyline. So it's one of those that you have just got to binge watch um, to understand the obsession with it. And then you understand. <laughs> um, get a couple seasons. Well, after the first season, you're like, oh, I understand. Even after the first few episodes, you're like, I get it. <laughs> I get why people love this. Um, it's funny. It's sad. I don't know how many times I've cried watching that. <laughs> it's emotional and yet it's hilarious sometimes. And it's gory and it's creepy sometimes. It's just so much fun. Um, so I really love that show. And plus, Dean is beautiful. <laughs> and Sam is a sweetheart. So I'm like, I could like either one. If I'm going on looks, I pick Dean because he's just an angel from heaven. <laughs> and if I'm going on personality, I totally pick Sam because I'm like, he's, he's just a sweetheart. 
But anyways, and mostly season one, season two, season three, Sam. But after that, I'm like, mm, okay, Dean. <laughs> but uh, another um, TV show, I know I've touched base on it because you guys have commented, Sleepy Hollow. I love that show. I love the American history um, along with like the, the folk folklore of Sleepy Hollow. It's so well done the way they did that. It's spectacular show. So well done, but I've only watched the first two seasons. <laughs> I didn't get past that. I have the box set. Um, and I still have to get season 15 of Supernatural to complete that box set. Um, I couldn't find it. Black. I don't think it was out last year, Black Friday. Um, but I'm hoping this year to score from Walmart. Um, another one that I really, really love is Once Upon a Time. I know I talked about it briefly. So if you love, um, I only got to this section with Frozen, but it's got Snow White. Um, it's got Prince Charming. They take the fairy tale characters and they make them real life characters. It's amazing. I love it so much. Um, if you've not watched it, you need to watch it. Um, I would love to buy that box set. Oh no. Um, I was so close without getting crumbs all over. You guys, I get crumbs all over when I do that. <laughs> I know I don't like the crumbs, but I'm going to have to just be okay with it. So that's another one of those. They all just came home. <laughs> um, how long have I been doing this? About an hour. Yeah, maybe I'll just do another couple bricks. Um, so I highly recommend that show. If you love um, fairy, fairy tale characters brought to life, I highly recommend that. And which we need to finish watching that, right, Dale? <laughs> Once upon a time. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, it was so good. And my favorite characters in that are Rumble Still the Villains. <laughs> I love Rumpelstiltskin in that. Love him so much and he's so terrible sometimes. Um, but I just, there's something about him. I love him. And then um, Regina, which is like the evil queen. Love her too. <laughs> you can't help but feel sorry for her. Um, oh gosh, Hook. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's, he's beautiful. Anyway. Um, yeah, so Hook is like my favorite. I like the villains in that show. <laughs> so, um... Then another just TV show that I really, really love is The Good Doctor. Um, he's just, it's like an autistic doctor and he's so smart. Um, and he's brilliant at what he does. Um, but, you know, he struggles with his autism and stuff, but he's brilliant. Um, it's such a good show. And <laughs> um, another one of my favorites, ooh, this can take a bit. Um, is, uh, well, Dale and I watched quite a bit of, um, Bull. That was good about a lawyer. Um, well, he's a trial scientist and he works with lawyers. Um, so, ooh, so that's a good show too. We did enjoy that one. I'm trying to think, where does the star? Yeah, like that. Okay. And my favorite show that's currently on TV is New Amsterdam. Love that show, you guys. I like doctor shows. <laughs> Hence my love of anatomy. Uh, love, love, love doctor shows. So I used to love ER. <laughs> but um, New Amsterdam is amazing. Um, amazing. Uh like he struggles with his own battle with cancer. Um, there's like a loss on the show that's important that I'm not gonna spoil it if you've never seen it. <laughs> um, and I can relate so much to that. It's not even funny and it makes me cry and it makes me emotional. I just, I absolutely love that whole show. Love every episode, <laughs> highly recommend um, New Amsterdam. So check that out. And then um, a show that we started watching on the, the stream TV. So I don't know if it's easy to find otherwise, but um, Poldark, Dale and I really like that. It's like a period show. 
Um, I don't know, it's kind of Irish, English. Well, the girl's Irish, but it's English? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, more Irish. Well, they're in Irish. England, though. Yeah, that's true. Um, it's, it's really cool. If you like, like period type um, pieces, um, that's a good, kind of like Sleepy Hollow is a period piece. Um, so if you like that sort of thing, I really recommend Pole Dark, which we haven't gotten through that one yet. We kind of start them, then we don't ever finish them. Um, Supernatural, I just don't want that one to go away. <laughs> uh, and then another thing that I'm obsessed with, you guys, is animal shows. <laughs> and um, before I got into Sensi and stuff, all day, every Saturday, when Dale's working, and I'm not working because I work at the bank, so um, we have Saturdays off usually unless we're working overtime. I have cut that one too. Oh, so good. <laughs> Jamie time is like one of the best. Um, is my animal show. So I will watch... <laughs> Um, I will, Animal Planet does a lot of, this was before COVID, um, and before Sensi, really. So, Animal Planet does, like, whole marathons of certain shows. So, I started doing that with the Crocodile Hunter, and then, of course, Steve Irwin died, and that was traumatic for me, because that was, that was my lit, that was on my bucket list. I was going to see Steve Irwin at Australia Zoo, and then he died. And then I was like, seriously, are you kidding me? <gasps> cried and cried and cried. It was terrible. I absolutely loved him to pieces. Um, I still want to go to Australia Zoo, but. So I started doing that with that, and then Pipples and Prolies. I really love that show on Animal Planet. Um. Crikey, it's the Irwins now with Terry and the kids, Steve's kids. That's an amazing show. Um, and it's amazing how much Robert is just like his dad. It kills me to watch. It's hard. Sometimes I get a little emotional. <laughs> Imagine that. Um, and I love the veterinary shows. So um, vet life. Uh, I, I love Jackson Galaxy with um, my cat from hell. <laughs> like, I just love all the animal shows. So I can sit for hours and hours and hours and watch those, which Dale does not love that. <laughs> he can watch them to a degree, but then he gets a little bored. Whereas I could watch them all day, every day. Same episodes, doesn't matter. I just love it. <laughs> I can't get enough of it. To me, that I'm learning and it's it's fun. Um, oh, Dr. Pole is another one that I love. Another veterinary show that I love. Plus, I feel like I'm learning. So I feel like, you know, if Gingy has this, I could help him. Because I watch Dr. Pole. And not that I would ever not take him to the vet if it was really serious. Um, I'm just saying, like, simple things. I'm like, oh, I think I could help him. <laughs> um, so I really love those. Um, I, I actually really like, well, mostly the animal reality shows, but I really love reality TV if it's not dumb stuff. I, I don't, not that The Bachelor and all that stuff is dumb. I'm just talking about, I like to learn well. I'm, plus I find animals entertaining. Um, you guys, I'm dying inside because of all of this wax. I have to vacuum when I'm done with this video. It's going to drive me crazy. Um, luckily, there's carpet under here, and it'd be easy to vacuum. Okay, so I got one brick left because Dale's here, and he's going to want to cook and all that good stuff. So um, so I'll do my brick of strawberry or strawberry, blueberry cheesecake, and then I will save these three seasonal ones for another day. <laughs> um, I'm sure I'll get another couple club ones by then. I've noticed I've been using up my holiday bricks a little bit more from last year. Like I'm almost done with, well, red pear and pomegranate. That was the November scent of the month because I've cut these up. So, um, wax cleaning. I, 
I prefer cotton cleanups. That's why I have four packages in my club because whenever they're on back order, I want to have a small stock. Plus, my customers never seem to be able to get them when they want them. So if I have a stock of them, um, I kind of like being able to say, hey, I have some on hand. You know, if you can buy them from me if, I'm, if they're local, um, I guess I could ship them. But nobody's really asked me. Um, I did send some in the mail to customers just so they could try them, but then I didn't realize they were going to be like this constant out of stock thing where I feel like I kind of teased them. But I guess it's a way to talk to them about Scentsy Club. Um, I have a couple people that put them in Scentsy Club. So, and you can get, thanks to Karen um, Wells from Australia <laughs> for telling me this, because at first I was like, I buy a bag of cotton balls thinking that you, you use one per warmer. I was thinking I could get a bag of cotton balls like way cheaper. Why? Well, not way. Well, cheaper. Yeah. Why would I do that? And you get more. <laughs> no, you can do like six to eight warmers with those, um, depending on the size of the wax. Like, obviously, you're going to get more, you know, less with a cotton cleanup <laughs> than with this size. You know what I'm saying? So it depends on what size wax you have in there. Um, if you have one or two cubes or whatever, but I'm just saying you can get like six to eight cubes of wax um, per pad. And I love that. I'm not have a handful of hot kind of uncomfortable sometimes depending on the warmer wax in my hand that's kind of burning my hand. I don't have that. So I really, really like cotton cleanups. Um, cotton balls are okay. Um, they're, they're fine now that I'm, you know, in a pinch. <laughs> um, before Scentsy, I used to hot dump my wax into my garbage and then it would just make my garbage smell nice. Um, but with Scentsy, I don't always want to do that and make a mess. Whereas I didn't care with the Walmart warmers that I had. Um... So, I mean, there's a difference there. Um, and why I don't hot dump anymore. I will, I don't know, bender wax was too hard to get out unless you hot dumped. So that's just what I did <laughs> before Scentsy. Um, there's the freezer method. Now I don't do that because I don't turn my warmers. And honestly, Scentsy is amazing enough that you don't even have to put it in the freezer. Um, although I've seen people do that with the testers for consultants, you can put that tester in the freezer and it shrinks it enough that it'll pop out. Um, I, uh, Sensi's amazing enough that you can take the corner of a clamshell and just put, run it around there and the, the wax pops right out. Um, so like if for some reason a bulb goes out or something, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> um, I can't scoop that up with a cotton ball or something. And you kind of have to um, get it out. I just use the corner of a clamshell and get it right out. And I learned that from Patricia Nose to Toes on YouTube and <laughs> Patricia Gates. Um, I watched one of her old videos about wax methods because I'd heard of the freezer method, never done it, and wanted to make sure I did it right. Um, you guys, why am I off track on these? <laughs> okay, I know I'm doing them. <laughs> it's all good. So, um, you know, I would like to see Scentsy come out with um, a bundle for the body wash because I would really like to buy three of those at once and save money. I don't always want to buy just a moisture medley. Um, I don't know if anyone else feels like that. I don't feel like I have used. Wait a bit, sorry. Three. And then there's three. What am I doing wrong? Three? Three, three, three. <laughs> um, 
Um, doesn't matter, I'll just cut it up. Uh, that's like a whole brick. I'm just like thrown off by that. Um, body cream is another one. I kind of wish they had a bundle of three. Um, the Scentsy Soak, I think would be nice to be able to buy in a bundle of three. Um, I wish that they would have more brick events. Um, but I wouldn't want it to hinder the um, Scentsy Bar sales. But, um, so I don't want to not have people not buy like, um, certain bars because they have all these bricks and then even in club, I was thinking about that. And then I'm like, what if they discontinue the bars because nobody's buying them because they have bricks of them. Um, I don't know. That's another thing I was like contemplating on if I really want to see that. <laughs> Uh, my favorite holiday scents. Uh, I really love um, Cinnamon Bear, but I love that all year round. I really love the tree scents, but I'm like a spice. Now eggnog is going to be one of my favorites. Um... So for Christmas... Yes, I gotta figure this out because it's gonna drive me crazy. I don't know how to put these back in. Um, I just for you would have always been one of my all-time favorites. Um, but now it's in my club and. I hate to say that because you can't get it. Um, so just for you is always a favorite. Oops. What is that? Fresh. Put it on the wrong side. Um, and this one's a bakery one. <laughs> I really messed this one up, you guys. Because uh, I had a lot of crumbs from this one. So just for you. Um, Wassel Wonderland. Blue Christmas. See a lot of the ones that I really love. Um, I put in my Scentsy Club. Because of. Um, I was like I don't want to not be without that. Um, ones that you can get. Red Berries and Spruce I really love. Um, Be Merry is nice. Uh, um, I wish they had more orange spice kind of things like Wassel Wonderland, but it is coming back um, for the sense of the season. So make sure you grab that. I don't know how I got so off track with this. And then, um, obviously Cinnamon Bear, um, Cozy Fireside is my favorite, so, um, how did I mess that up so bad? <laughs> I don't even know. And then, um, trying to think of ones that you can buy. Uh, I don't like perfectly pomegranate, so I don't recommend that. It's like fake cherry chapstick. Uh, a hug and a mug is nice, but I like mint marshmallow, mint cocoa better, and I had that in my club, so I'm not sure I'm very helpful. I thought maybe I could come up with some good ones, but I mean, I guess iced pine, um... Now that I'm done with this. Iced pine and very nice spruce is okay. I like iced pine better. Um, I messed that one all up. <laughs> but there it is. So 
I don't know, hopefully that's helpful. I kind of, sorry, lost track on the last one, but, um, cause I have a mess here. So, all right guys, um, thanks for hanging out with me. Hopefully that was um, fun and we'll do it again sometime. Thanks, bye.